What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new option inside One UI 6.0. It is a new labs menu. You guys know we love our Samsung labs menu around here. Samsung has a lot of labs menus throughout One UI which allows you to enable additional advanced features and get more information about your device and the things you're connected to. So today we're going to be looking at the new connectivity labs which is inside the Wi-Fi menu. We're going to get into that. Before we do, I want to thank my son Jonathan for giving us some dinos to hang out. We've got this Dracosaurus, and we also have over here the Spinosaurus as well. And as well as that, we want to thank our brand new sponsor on the channel, WP Engine. So let me go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about them. One thing that's very difficult with balancing a YouTube channel and indeed any business is making sure that your website is running maximum power, maximum conversion capability, and having a high converting website isn't really a job that you can always do yourself if you're the only individual running your business. So WP Engine can help with this. It's an all-in-one platform that helps you design, build, power, and manage WordPress, WooCommerce, and headless sites. Um, WordPress Engine is again, very, very awesome. And one thing that you can experience with them is very fast load speeds. You get 40% page speed increase on average when using WP Engine, um, you also have just the ability to create focus on your content and um, more than 200,000 people have signed up for WP Engine and use it on a daily basis. Whether you're an individual, a creator like me, an entrepreneur, or a larger business, you can benefit from WP Engine. You guys can go to my link. It's also in the pinned comment and description to sign up. Get a special offer you can see right here. The light plan, two months free. The startup plan for four months free e-commerce professional for four months free. If you're someone around my size, probably the startup plan will be good. You can go, you know, kind of try it as you go and see how it is. Uh, you also get a discount for going yearly instead of monthly. All of the information that I mentioned there is also in the pen comment description. Again, check it out right there at my link to get that amazing offer and free yourself up to work on your content and your business. All right, guys, so we are back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new labs menu that I was talking about before. So again, this is in One UI 6.0. I'm running beta five right now on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. Go into the settings and you're gonna go into connections. You're gonna go ahead and tap on your Wi-Fi menu. And then up here in the three dots menu, there's a couple of things up here, but the thing we're gonna go into here is intelligent Wi-Fi. Now there's also one other option here that was highlighted as new when I downloaded One UI 6.0 beta, but I don't think it's actually new. In fact, we'll double check. It's this one, turn Wi-Fi on slash off automatically this option right here. But I think this was on One UI 5.1 and I have my other S20, um, I have my other S22 Ultra, S23 Ultra rather, here right now. So I'm checking on the side just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure this option was here as well. Yeah, it's right there on One UI 5.1. So this option was highlighted as new, but it's actually not new. The new thing is down here. If you scroll down to the bottom of Intelligent Wi-Fi, which itself was a new option inside One UI 5.0 last year when the beta came out, the new option is if you type repeatedly on intelligent Wi-Fi 6.0.0, it's going to turn on the labs feature, kind of like how you do developer options when you go into about phone in the Android menu for Android software. Down here, it now says connectivity labs. Features for internal testing purposes does not guarantee stability. That's the case with all the labs features like the gallery labs and labs within the main settings menu. So if you tap on this, what you get is a lot of information about your Wi-Fi network. Up here, you've got your day, the amount of time you've been on Wi-Fi, the daily average for Wi-Fi, and then you can see how much we've used here. That's less than yesterday. It says you use nine hours and 53 minutes less than yesterday. Of course, the issue with that is that, I mean, obviously this is only 3.22 PM. So I'm still probably gonna use Wi-Fi a lot more today. Down here, you get a weekly report by time, Wi-Fi on, connected, and then you get a usage right here. And you can kind of see the breakdown RX versus TX usage right there in the report. Now down here, you also get band and standard different types of Wi-Fi. So this is very interesting for those of us who are really interested in, you know, when is our device connected to Wi-Fi 6? It doesn't break it down to Wi-Fi 6E yet, which of course is the new Wi-Fi standard, the newest one, but you do get stats like 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. The majority of time you're going to be connected to 5 gigahertz because that's the most common, especially for something like a smartphone. You're, uh, your smart home devices like your smart plugs or smart lights use 2.4 gigahertz. Your Galaxy S23 Ultra is probably never gonna use that. 
But then down here, more interesting perhaps is the Wi-Fi standard. So you can see some public networks you use will be on older Wi-Fi standards. So you do have a decent amount of Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 5 usage, probably some from the public networks I use, like here at the university where I teach and also in coffee shops, things like that. Wi-Fi 6, which I have at home. So that's why I have the largest amount in Wi-Fi 6. I do have a Wi-Fi 6E router. I have the new Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro. I recently switched to, so it is 6E, but it doesn't show you 6E down here in the breakdown, but you do get all of that information right there. Now you can also see down here, all the information that you get from your uh, connection. So you can see uh, the type of Wi-Fi you're connected to, the frequency band, the IP address, the subnet, the gateway IP, the gateway MAC address, um, phone MAC address, received data, transmitted data, security data, all of that right there and uh, shows your connected time as well. And you can go down to more and see even more information with some really sort of deep stats for people who are really kind of Wi-Fi networking nerds. But you can see all of that information very deeply in the menus there. Uh, and then if you go here to under time, you can then go to usage like I showed before, get all those breakdowns. You can also down here at the very bottom. So if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can see your saved networks as well right here unused and unsecured so you can take action if you have unsecured networks that you're using and you want to secure them auto connect to carrier wi-fi customized wi-fi list settings wi-fi developer options which we also had talked about in previous um, version of one ui as well those are now embedded here inside this for wi-fi developer options it's now a subset of this and then you can do this one which i haven't tried yet but basically what it does is it lets you check your home wi-fi by walking around with your phone so if you hit start what this is going to do is you can choose your Wi-Fi name. These are all not my home Wi-Fi, so I'm not going to do it right now properly. But uh, this is just the public network here at the university. So if you choose this, you can kind of see the different information that they have there for the different bands. And then you can walk around and kind of map out your Wi-Fi network. So let's just choose this one. Um, and then you can go through. It tells you that we don't have any security on. Obviously, it's a public network. And then it says, if you're ready, walk around your device to check weak signal areas, and it'll kind of show you a map of your device. So again, not that useful right now because I'm not on my actual home Wi-Fi, but it would be very useful if you are on your home Wi-Fi and you want to kind of see where your weak signals are, where you might put a mesh router or something like that. Anyway, I found all this very, very interesting, very, very exciting. So if you guys are on One UI 6.0 beta or if you wait for the stable version, you want to check it out, go into connections, Go down here and tap on your intelligent Wi-Fi and you'll be able to get started right away. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Again, I want to thank WP Engine for sponsoring the video. Check out the link right here if you would like to sign up with them. We really appreciate their support being sponsors on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank a lot for watching.